I don't know much about brewing at all, but I'm about to try to brew my own version of the brew dog Hazy Jane. What could go wrong? Brew dog. Half. <laughs> So here we see it. This is the amazing Hazy Jane uh, in all its hazy gloriness. Now, it's such a lovely beer. Um, you, it's got flavours in there of mango and pineapple and stone fruits in there and a little hint of tangerine as well. But it's an awesome beer. Um, so what I need to do is just get going and get my machine ready. So I'm going to set a little clean cycle on that. You pop a dishwasher tab in there and that will clean the base station through. That gives me time to add all of the ingredients into the portal and make sure I've got everything in there at the right temperatures and the right times. And the machine is ready to go, so I can just give it a clean, take away all the excess water and get the keg down into place. And we want to put two litres of water into that keg. That's just to boil it up and make sure that the whole thing is completely clean all the way through. So I'll put the hoses on, um, attach them to the top of it, and it will just boil water through in the base station and pump it through and just make sure, again, it's very thoroughly clean inside that. That gives me time to get everything else that I need ready. Get a sterile tray and get all the bits, just wash everything very thoroughly and get some no rinse sanitizer on it if it need be. And that's boiling, that's done in the keg so we can let that go. The machine has told us what to do. And it's time to get the water in there. And this is the 6.5 liters of kettle water. That's the water that we're gonna try and turn into beer. Now the net goes in there, that will be for the later phase to stop all these bits going through. And I just need to get the ingredients now. These are the malts. So we've got 770 grams of Maris Otter. We've got 140 grams of pale malt. We've got 90 grams of wheat malt, uh, 180 grams of rice hulls, and then 35 grams of flaked oats in there as well. And it's nice just mixing them together and get the, um, the, the premix water in there, it's about one and a half litres of water just to steep them grains um, and get them ready for the machine. So that's all good to go. And the top mesh can go on there and the lid, and we can just pop that in the machine. And that's the first phase for, for the first mash, but we're gonna do two mashes on this one. So it's double the amount of ingredients um, to get that whole thing ready to go. Um, right, so so the machine is up and running and that gives us time to get the hops that we're going to need for this one together. Um, so in terms of hops, we've got um, Chinook, we've got six grams of that, that will go on the 10 minute mark. And then we've got Amarillo and we've got Chinook and we've got Simcoe. So six grams of all three of them and they will go on the 0 minute mark. And we put them in these little Hessine bags and provided we put them in the right holes as per the recipe, uh, it will just drop them at all the right times. Now that gives us time to make the second mash and it's all the same ingredients again in the second mash. So that's the Maris Otter, the pale malt, the wheat malt, the rice hulls and the flaked oats, all in the same quantities again to make another mash. And I enjoy just kind of mixing them together. And the first one is just spent now. We've got all of the spent grain out of that. Wash that mash tun through and we can put in the second mash in there. Uh, and again, it's just the same process again. And the little net goes on the top of it, little uh, top mesh and pop that into the machine. And here we are, we're ready to go. So that's most of the work that we need done uh, for this recipe. That same beer water is going through and you can see that the machine is dropping the hops in. It's quite magical to watch that, but it will just drop them in at exactly the right time that they needed to do according to the recipe that we put in in the very first place. Now the yeast goes in and it's uh, why yeast going in there didn't quite know quantities on that because I wasn't, uh, I've not come across a smack pack like that before. So um, I just put uh, how I thought it would work. Now we're at the dry hopping phase. So this is uh, a good 10 days into this recipe and we've got dry hops. We've got Amarillo, Citra, Mosaic and Simcoe, one gram of each of them. And they have all gone in there and just uh, released all their flavors for five days. So the lid goes on and it's uh, moving on to day 20. So it's time for carbonation. So we put the CO2 on there for a couple of days. Okay, here we are. It's day 22 and this beer has been a long time in the making. And this is my version of the Brewdog 
Hazy Jane. Uh, it's got to be one of the best beers out there on the market. For the price you pay for that, to have all of that haziness and then flavours of mango and pineapple and stone fruits and a hint of tangerine in there, it's, it's a pretty awesome beer. So the question is, what is my version like? So I've just tapped it and here we go. And I've got that haziness I was looking for. Have I got them flavours? It's okay. It's it's pretty good. It's not quite the same. It doesn't have the same fruitiness. Um, if I was to judge which one has made the best beer here, it's Brewdog. But I've enjoyed the process. Um, and I'm going to try again. And maybe I can do better next time. So until the next time, cheers. <laughs>